Okay, and welcome back everyone. Um, these are for students that are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we're doing the chapter five word problems, the odd number problems, and we happen to be at uh, set three of three. Okay, so let's jump into it. And it begins with problem 5-33. Okay, so if Colorado Springs, Colorado has 1.2 times as many days of sunshine than Boston, how many days of sunshine does each city have if there are a total of 464 days of sunshine between the two in a year? Okay, so um, I'm just going to use, uh, it, the, there's a relationship here. We're, we're talking about Colorado plus Massachusetts is equal to 464 days in a year, right? Um, the way the, you know, the way this problem is worded can be a little confusing. However, it is it's basically the same as you know problem uh, like uh, let's jump back and let's take a look here. It's kind of the same as problem 5-11. Okay, um, all it is is just worded very differently, all right? Because they're throwing as they're working through the problem problem, it's giving you the relationship by saying Colorado is 1.2 times Boston, right? Um, so now, and then it says, it, it asks how many days of sun, sunshine does each have if there are 464 days? So um, we have Colorado plus Ma Boston or Massachusetts is equal to 464, but the relationship is Colorado is 1.2 times Boston and since we can't know Colorado until we know Boston, um, we set Boston um, as the variable D to begin with. So then that makes Colorado 1.2 times D, right? 1.2 times Boston. Right? And then we can just, once we have those two variables, right, those two terms, the D for, for Boston, right? We can plug those into our equation here. So Colorado is 1.2D, and there's a total. So um, it's plus the D for Colorado, and that gives us 464. And now all we need to do is just do the math. So 1.2 plus 1.2D 1, 1 plus 1D is 2.2D, and that equals 464. And then we can uh, divide both sides by 2.2, 2, and that gives us D is equal to. Now let me think about this. Get out the old calculator, 464 divided by 2.2. Um, so that comes out to like 210.9, or let's say 211 um, number of days of sunshine for for Boston. Okay, and if we plug in the 211, 1.2 times 211, that's going to give us. 2 times 211, that's going to give us uh, 253, right? Point 0.2, actually this was two, the um, 464 divided by 2.2 .2 gives me like um, 210.9, but we're rounding to, down to the 211. The 253.2 .2 is just above, so we're going to um, we're rounding up to 211, and we're rounding down to 253 because we're talking about full days here. So now we plug those numbers um, back into our equation, and we plug in uh, 210 plus 253, and that will give us uh, 464. Okay. 
Okay, so that one I felt like I didn't explain it uh, very well. <coughs> Excuse me, so let me kind of go over it again real quick. Colorado has 1.2 times as many days of sunshine as Boston. So Colorado has 1.2 times the days of Boston. We don't know, we can't figure out Colorado until we understand what Boston is. So we set Boston with the variable D. That makes Colorado 1.2 times D. And since we want to know how many days of sunshine does each city have, so you know, whatever number of days, you know, Colorado has, plus the number of days that Boston has, right? how many days of sunshine does each have if there are a total of 464? And then we go and we plug in those terms, the 1.2 and the D, right, for Boston. You know, and then we just basically do the math, and we end up with D being 211. And again, we're rounding up um, because we're talking about full days. If we round up here, if we round up here, we round down here to 253. So it's 211 plus 253 is equal to 464. Okay. All right, 5-35. Ivy gave 84 people a bonus. Ivy Corporation gave 84 people a bonus. So that to me is meaning something like along the lines of 84 in the back of my head is the total. If Ivy had given two more people bonuses, Ivy would have rewarded two thirds of the workforce. How large is Ivy's workforce? So my assumption that um, Ivy giving 84 people a bonus is not uh, correct at this moment in time. And that's fine. I'm just actively thinking about the problem. Okay. So let's think about this relationship here and what's going on here because we want to know how big the workforce is, okay? How large is Ivy's workforce? So if they gave 84 people a bonus, if Ivy gave two more people bonuses, right? So that's like 84 um, plus two. And if they gave plus two would equal to the workforce, the total of the workforce, Ivy would have rewarded two thirds of the workforce. Yeah, so, yeah, I okay. so, knowing this information, if they reward two thirds of the workforce, so we're going to call the workforce W. And if we know that two thirds of the workforce gets rewarded because we um, rewarded an addition, if they rewarded two more, we can subtract two from that, and that would give us the 84 people that they actually gave a bonus to. And that is going to be our equation from this. Now, let's kind of go back through that again, okay? Because I know your, prob your head is probably spinning at this moment in time. All right, All right let's see here. I gave 84 people a bonus. If Ivy gave two more people bonuses, right? So if they give 84 a bonus, and if they give add two more to that, right? They would have rewarded two thirds of the workforce. How large is Ivy's workforce? So we want to know um, how large the workforce is. Well. Eighty six is equal to two thirds W, and we multiply. All right. Okay, that's doing the math. Let me let me back up here for a second. 
I went through this relatively straight. In the last, uh, when I before I had erased this, I didn't go through it relatively straight. We have 84 people have a bonus, and if Ivy had given two more, had given meaning would be a plus. That's what the English translates into the, the, the function. There is a mathematical function of a plus. So if they had given two more people a bonus, they would have rewarded two-thirds of the workforce. We're going to call the workforce and assign it uh, a W. And that would have been, they would have uh, rewarded two-thirds of that workforce. So we want to know how large is Ivy's workforce. So think of it like this. We're trying to figure out what how large the workforce is. Um, by having 84 plus 2 being 2 thirds all right, of the workforce, we want to be able to isolate just the workforce and know how many in total. So that's why our equation sets up this way. So we end up with 86 is equal to 2 thirds W, all right, our workforce. Now, to solve for this, we need to get rid of this fraction. And remember, um, the way we get rid of the fraction is by whatever's in the denominator, we multiply it by that number. So we're going to, and remember, we have what we do on one side, we, all, we have to do on the other. So since I have 3 in the denominator, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. Because 3 over um, any number over 1 is, is that number. This will allow us, let me write it this way. Right? We can cancel out the 3s. And that would leave us with 2 over 1, right? So our 3s cancel out here. And we're left with 2w. And then 3 times 86 is 18, 24, 25, 258. And then from here, since we're multiplying here, we divide both sides by 2. Okay, And that means our W ends up equaling 129. Okay, So our workforce is 129. Now... Let's prove that. Uh, if I have um, 84 plus 2 is equal to 2 over 3 times 129, because we're replacing the w, right, the variable one uh, w with 129, we have 86 is equal to, right, um, here, let's see here, 4, okay, so 3 can go into 3 once, 3 can go into uh, 129 uh, 43 times, and then 2 times 43 is 86, so 86 is equal to 86, so we know that our W of 129 is correct. Okay, all right, let me quickly erase all of that and run from beginning to end. And I realize the video is getting a little long. If you've gotten that, then go ahead and stop the video. If you haven't, take one more look at uh, what I'm doing here. Okay. Ivy Corp gave 84 people a bonus. If Ivy gave two more people bonuses, Ivy would have rewarded, that's an equal there, right? two-thirds of the workforce. So um, we're going, we don't know how much the workforce is, so we're going to assign it the variable w. And it's asking us how large is Ivy's workforce. So all we're doing is solving this equation. 84 and 2 is 86 is equal to 2 thirds times w. And we're going to multiply both sides by 3, because that's like 3 over 1. Okay. So the threes cancel out, and I'm left with 2w is equal to 258, and then I'm dividing by 2. I end up with 129 is equal to w, which is the size of the workforce. And to prove that, we're going to plug that number back into the w here. Okay, 
So 84 plus 2 is equal to 2 thirds times 129. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 129 43 times. So 84 plus 2 is 86. And 2 times 43 is 86. So we know that our answer 129 is correct. Okay. I right, hope you got that. If not, you know, feel free to contact an instructor and we will move on to problem 5-37 in the next video.